from Aksum. He had a hefty necklace in... This harbor house is sunk in treasure? Yeah, the current's too strong to pull the rack out. So we're left to lament the loss. You interested? I am a strong swimmer. I fear no cold, current, or drinker of the deep. Then by all means. We can scrape together a reward fit for the cargo's rescue. That must be the corpse of the guild. I have the treasure you seek. Do you? Please, give it here then. I found this necklace in the guts of a fish. I could not get rid of the smell. Even reeking of fish, this is priceless. Many thanks. Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I've seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Eivor, have you ever been in love? Why do you ask? I wonder if you know the feeling of having your very heart pulled from your chest as it pursues the elusive object of your desire. I wonder if you have ever known the bitter agony of seeing your beloved in the arms of another. I have known such a pain, and Maximus was its source. One of your lovers. Oh, God, no. Maximus is a snake and a leech. A slime-encrusted, blood-sucking viper of a man. He stole from me, my beloved, a perfectly preserved statue of a legionnaire. It is all I desire in this world. Last I heard, Maximus was holed up in and around London, holding my beloved captive, leering and pawing at it, no doubt. If you should ever see him, give him my regards. By that, I mean spit on him, then recover my statue. I must take my leave. So long. Bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor. If I find one crack, that statue is as fragile as the...
I have a friend who needs that little Roman man you have, Octavian of London. I've a guess who your friend is, and cannot have his greasy pedestrian fingers on something so exquisite. Osbert. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Yes, Osbert. A name fit for a poor failure. It'll cost a cow's weight in silver to get it in his hands. I'll give you the filthy silver. Oh, oh, that is... Thank you. Well, I should hope so. You may take the Legionnaire. <laughs> I'll have to take this back to Osbert. Save me from broken fingers. I have never seen a nun play such an instrument. I learned the tile harper from church. I used it for coin. Turned away from God to a life of sin. The Gleeman, we were called. The finest bards in all London. Our music moved statues to tears, but no more. The Lord demanded I return to the fold. I begged Izane to join me, but she still toils with devil and drink. Music and dice have led her astray. She and that Kine wolf. All my financial woes stem from their greedy shenanigans. You have debts, you mean? Large enough to send you into hiding. How dare you imply that I hide behind my cloth from men who would break my instruments for a mere 50 silver? 50 silver I can cover. But for that sum, I want to hear the Gleeman perform together, one last time. Oh, you are temptation-wrapped redemption, stranger. I have missed the dice dearly. Perhaps God has other plans. This is not the first time I've heard a skull sing through tears. It's my beloved Ostrid. She loves me no more. Thus my quill stays dry. No poetry falling from its once proud beak. Can you only write verse when you're in love? Surely. I've not written a ballad about God since I was a girl. Only love moves my heart. Some of the best verses I have ever heard were thrown in battles of wit and rhyme. Not love sick crowing. Oh. I have never seen such a battle. Please, enlighten me. In our battles for glory and blood, we do sing. And give praise to the High One, for Odin is king. And we beg that the High One will give us his nod. That we someday might dine alongside our war guard. Yes. Yes, I see the bricks of this verse. Fight, knight, brawl, Valhal... No, no, no. Odin's Hall. <laughs> Get me my quill. I should like to hear what music you write. 
Will you perform it somewhere? Wolves bastardly face to help me with this meter. But you will have my thanks in this performance regardless. Of your captivity. If love be a crime, then yes, I do. But I'm only guilty of such a boon. Me, Keener Wolf of the Gleeman. I see. And whose wife did you bet? Oh, the guard captains. And the alewife Luger. And he's an ace muse. But who am I to deny? A scoundrel and a poor friend. That may be so. But this scoundrel will play naught but the sweetest music for his freedom. You understand? I, Kine Wolf, have been freed from my bondage and am eternally in your debt. Make good use of your freedom then. Apologize. material doesn't hold a flame to the intensity of his on his older one. I hear you. What is wrong? Thank the gods! I wanted to get the new shipment done early, and accidentally boxed myself in. If that is all, I can get you out. Not so fast. Avoid breaking the jars. The sauce is delicious, but smells like a sun-soaked fish barge. Each quite fair accident. Please, make a path through the jars so I can get out. And, and don't break any. The smell is awful. It's a demand that not all it's better than no. It's what talk of. It's no worth any swat car. It's more than his who fret on the city.
not born. Thank the gods you've unblocked me. Ah, oh, just a few broken. But the smell will be here for weeks. Uh, still, you have my thanks. You there, you. What is it? Do you enjoy flighting? Lobbing insults at one another? I am familiar. Then I challenge you. But be warned, this flighting's like none you've ever known. How's that? For this jewel of flighting, a blessing, a curse. To harm me, then simply be kind. What a lovely request from a very sharp mind. How charming! Shall we bet? Here's my wager. After you, friend. I stand here in awe at the charm of your face. You're the picture of elegance, beauty and grace. Well done! I was wrapped with excitement when you came along. Oh, your valor's the subject of story and song. You're wonderful. You've such a great talent for flighting and rhyme. It is truly a pleasure of time. You're such a talent. This flighting's been lovely, a wonderful time. You're skilled with your rhythm as well as your rhyme. It's been a true joy to take a moment away from London's troubles and trials. You've more than earned this. Oh, 